With the recent patch on some bunker designs, a lot of my bases have been made void. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix all of the base designs in as much detail as I can. Now I want to stress, I did not find these new methods, I'm just relaying the info to you guys, as it affects a lot of my base designs. These were found by some other awesome base designers on YouTube, they go by the names Crow and Game Lines. Both their links will be in the description. So, let's get into it. In the video description, I'll have the specific base design and what bunker it uses so you guys don't have to search through the videos. We're going to start off with the God Bunker. Now the bunker will fit into this nice little frame here. You can use this on many different footprints as well. We're going to start out this build with a triangle and a square foundation. Place 15 squares on the right hand side and cap it off with a square. Now the triangle build out must be on the right hand side or else it will not work. Go ahead and delete all of the triangles. Delete the triangle with the square. Build back with squares. And then we can go ahead and place this triangle here. Making sure you've got the stone texture in this bottom left hand corner. After you've deleted the rest of the twig, go ahead and place 15 more triangles with a square. Delete all of that coming back and come back with squares, leaving the last one open. This is where you can place this square, look all the way to the bottom and place. You should have a stone texture in the top of the foundation here. As soon as you've done that, you can place a whole wall and a triangle on top of it. Now this triangle should be 31% stable and you can connect another triangle onto it and it should be 11%. You shouldn't be able to place that there. Go ahead and upgrade these three and we can delete the rest of the twig. Now for the bunker to work, you're going to stand on this foundation here, place your twig and place this triangle here. Go ahead and demolish that and it should break. That means your bunker is working. A brand new site has just launched, rustmagic.com. They have given me $50 in promo codes that will be shown throughout this ad, so make sure you watch the whole thing. They have some really cool game modes, including case battles, case opening, and my favourite by far, which is roulette. And they have many, many more. You can deposit with Rust skins, PayPal, and even crypto. And when you're done, they have a huge selection of skins to withdraw from. They also have a coin rain feature where you can win free coins daily. So check out Rust Magic and use my code LEFTYP with two Ys for a free 50 coins to check out the site. Please remember to gamble responsibly. Next up, we have the offset bunker. This is where your bunker will be. This can work with so many different footprints. We're gonna start off with one triangle and a square. Come out on the right hand side, 15 squares. Delete all of the triangle, including these two here. Come back with squares. And you can do the same for this triangle here. Making sure the stone texture is in the left hand corner. Go ahead and delete all of these. 15 squares on the right hand side. Cap it off with a square. Delete all of the triangles and the square coming back. Come back with 7 squares. Leave the last one. Place your square here. Making sure the stone texture is in the top. And we can go ahead and place 2 half walls and top that with a triangle. If this triangle has a stone texture in the left hand corner, we can go ahead and upgrade. But I would test to see if the bunker's working, just in case. Easy as that, you now have a working bunker. 